in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a squat. Now, the reason I have these two plates here, because when I squat, I use plates. The reason I use plates, because first of all, I can execute a squat better and more properly when my heels are a little elevated. I lack dorsiflexion in my ankle. Dorsiflexion is basically when you bring the top of your feet up towards your body, this is dorsiflexion. I don't have much dorsiflexion in my ankle, so when I'm squatting flat feet, I can't squat correctly. I just can't. I just cannot squat the way I want to when I have nothing under my heels. Um, some people may call it cheating, but I'm not in any competitions. I'm not trying to win any awards. I'm trying to make my body look better. I'm trying to work out for my own personal goods. So um, you have to do basically what works for you. Everybody don't need plates. I use plates personally, but you may not need plates. If you can squat without plates perfectly, perfect form, no pain in the knees, shoulders, lower back, go for it. Um, like I said, I just, I prefer, I've tried many times to do it without plates and I just, I don't like doing them without plates. So it works for me to use plates. Like I said, I can go lower when I have plates. I feel it more in my thighs, my butt like I supposed to. And anytime you're doing a squat and you start feeling it in your knees or a couple of days later you're having pain in your knees, pain in your lower back, pain in your shoulders, pain anywhere you're having pain, you shouldn't be having pain. So maybe you're not doing the exercise correctly and maybe you need to make sure you're doing it correctly, especially before you start using weight. So, um... I suggest if you don't know how to do a um, squat correctly, find someone, a personal trainer in your city that can help you execute the squat correctly because you don't want to start using weights, you know, loading shoulders on your weights and hands until you're doing it correctly. And like I said, when you're doing it, you're going to feel stretch. You're going to feel stretch in your thighs, your hamstrings, your quads, your butt, but that's the only place that should be a little sore a couple of days later. If you're feeling pain and soreness, like I said, in your shoulders, your neck, your lower back is not feeling right, your knees is aching, then don't do them. Do not do them. There, there are other exercises you can do until you learn how to do squats. If you just have to do squats, there are other exercises you can do to get, you know, the butt workout, the thighs, until you learn how to do a squat correctly. It took me forever to learn how to do one. So I have to concentrate when I'm doing squats. This is the only exercise I have to concentrate on. Like I said, you want to try to keep your knees behind your toes as much as possible. Mine don't stay as back as, I, as much as I want to, but like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not feeling any pain in my knees, so I keep them back as much as possible. I try to keep my shoulders up, I try to keep my chest up, you know, always think of having your chest facing the wall and try not to look down because when you're looking down, you tend to curve your back. So if you keep looking straight, that helps a lot too. And like I said, when you squat, when you're sitting back, like you're going back, try to push back as much as possible because when you're pushing back, you're bringing your knees back. You're pushing back, and when you're pushing back, try not to let this come to your upper part of your body come down too much. Push back and try to, just like that, just poke it out. That's all you have to do. So um, I'm going to demonstrate one. This is how I do squats again. So do squats that best fits you. Whatever works for you, that's how you need to do it. As long as you're not causing any type of injury to your body. If it's working for you, go for it. I always place the bar on the top of my traps. Not all the way up on my back, I mean, say my neck, but like right in here. Um, 
Make sure you pull your stomach in because that helps stabilizes the pelvis and it helps with lower back pain. It helps me a lot when I keep my lower region below the belly button, when I keep it pulled in, it sort of helps with my back too. So 